Welcome back to Two Stupid Guys Trade Stocks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of this Russia stuff that's going on um, and why all the chip stocks got utterly murdered on Friday. Uh, it's not good. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I, as an Intel shareholder, I definitely saw the blood in my portfolio there. Thankfully, I sold some covered calls against it already. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoy this kind of entertaining stock market content of two stupid guys trading stocks, follow me to give us a like and subscribe below. We'd love to have you along on this adventure. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> two stupid guys trade stocks. All right. Hey, AMD yep. got destroyed, huh? AMD got completely obliterated. Uh, actually, I have all of them here for you. AMD down 10. Uh, Marvel's a little bit smaller. But they're down 8. Um, yeah. yeah, the Q's down 3, Spy down 2. But really, the whole sector just did not do well. Yeah, it was interesting. Like uh, One of the headlines I saw floated was that that potentially Russia would invade Ukraine at the same time China would invade Taiwan. I'm like, wait, we going to World War Three? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, and if that if that happens, you buy Lockheed Martin and X. Ironically, Michael Burry, second heart, uh, uh, largest holding as of last quarter, Lockheed Martin. Really? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to shed some light as to why uh, they were saying ship stocks are going to get hurt via this invasion, which sounds kind of wild. But um, according to estimates, more than 90% of the U.S. semiconductor grade neon comes from the Ukraine. 35% comes uh, of palladium comes from Russia. And basically neons and lasers are used to make ships. Palladium is in the sensors and memory, some other things. Um, so I was like, all right, I feel like we just get it somewhere else. But... You know, history does repeat itself. In 2014, they already kind of did this deal, and Neon went up 600%. Perfect. Iffy. Yeah. That, that's actually the, the direction that, like, um, kind of chip makers are going in. These Neon uh, lasers are becoming more and more important. Intel really wasn't using them until, like, their 12th gen, which is their now current production. Which makes sense, because Intel's usually behind the ball by 50 years. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That, that's okay. But that's why they went down 2.5% on Friday. All right. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so estimates, uh, the supply does not meet the demand as well because still, you know, even in a perfect world, if they still have all the supplies they need, they're still projected to use 37% more over the next four years. Um, the reason why this matters is Biden administration has threatened to impose widespread export controls against Russia. Um, and they, I think he said this Saturday, um, but basically Biden warned President Putin and its allies that they will respond decisively and impose swift and severe costs if they invade, while at the exact same time emptying the embassy and U.S. troops in Ukraine. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, that signals it's not going to be a military cost. It's yeah, be, uh, so he had said we are preparing for all scenarios. Yeah, including the time where they go and have a picnic and hold hands together. Probably. Um, but I think it's more export and import, import costs, which will then mess with the whole supply and demand issue. But as you can see in the queues, we had a pretty pig down day. This was pretty rough. Uh, yeah. Definitely not a good time. Oop, oop, I just did something. The real... Um, Question what? though is uh, Lockheed Martin hitting all times high? <laughs> Lockheed Martin hitting all time highs. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like in retrospect, that's such an obvious move. Why didn't I buy Lockheed Martin? <laughs> For sure. I mean, like, Burry saw it months ago. Yeah, I mean, I'm basically as good as Burry, right? Basically. Yeah. Uh, no! I mean, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let us know if, uh, A, you got some chip stocks in your portfolios, and if uh, you're thinking about making a switch or making a swing. Vinny, you're an Intel guy. Are you thinking about buying AMD here? No. Nah, I'm sticking with Intel. 
That was well, a, it, a very abrupt no. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy a, a company that is exposed to depending on a foreign power for their entire production line. Okay. All right. Fair yeah. enough. That's fair. Uh, well, let us know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. All right. Catch you guys in the next one.